This conference will now be recorded. Hello, Namaskaram. Uh, I think Nilesh has got some uh, inconvenience today. So we will start the session. That is what he is asked for. So Namaskaram to all of you. We will start the session. <coughs> Chadrumukha Samaram Bham Vakbhadajarya Madhyamam Asmadajarya Padyandam Vande Guru Parambaram Radha di Rogan Sadadan Shaktan Asheshakaya Prasudan Asheshan Aul Sukya Moha Aradidan Jakhana Yopurva Vaidyaya Namos Tutasmai in our uh, previous session, we discussed the line Sutrubhalam, Mathusapir Bhyam Nishi Netra Balayacha, Swastya Anubrutti Krit Yacha, Ryogo Che the Garam, Ryogo Che the Garam Cha, Yadu, Tadcha Shilay. That is what the advice or the suggestion was in the text. <clears throat> so we will continue. I hope you all have the text with you uh, because I cannot share the, I don't have a soft version, so I cannot share it as of now. So we will continue with the next slogan. We say, shoot. Moja Choja Amra Moda Gulkari Gadigam Adyadravyam Guru Stulam Sorry Adyadravyam Guru Snigtham Swadu Mandam Stiram Uraha Vibari the Madas Chande Madhemla Lavanot Kadam Madhemla Lavanot Kadam I will read the sloga once again. Bisekshu moja choja amra moda gotkari gadigam adhyadravyam guru snitham swadu mandam sthiram puraha. Vibarida madas chande madhe amla lavanot kada. So now Ajarya proposes a scheme, a pattern for uh, or about how to prioritize the different uh, foodstuffs while we eat. So we find certain stuffs explained here as examples. Sometimes that examples are not given, but only some gunas or rasas are explained. So here we find in the first line, bisa, ikshu, moja, choja, amra, modaga, Utkarigadigam, a list which ends with Adigam. So, those which are like this, that is the meaning of that Adigam. What is the peculiarity or what is the, the commonality, Samanyam, between these Dravya? That we find in the second line. They are all Guru, Snigtham, Swadu, Mandam, Sthiram. They are all Guru, Snigtham, Swadu, Mandam, Sthiram. 
So these uh, recipes or stuffs or foods Puraha Adhyad Guru Snigdham Swadu Mandam Sthiram Dravyam Examples given are Visekshu Moja Choja Amra Modaka Utkari Gadhyam Puraha Adhyad So eat them first Puraha Vibari Idam Ataha Acha Ande Ataha Vibari Idam those who are opposite to what is explained. That means this Guru, Snitham, Swadu, Mandam and Sthiram. Opposite. Ataha Viparidam. Ande Adhyadu. Keep it as the last. Ande Adhyadu. Madhye Amla Lavanotkadam. In between. Madhye Amla Lavanotkadam. Dravyam Adhyad. Amla Lavana Utkadam. Those which are having Utkadam. Utkadam Adhikyam of Amla and Lavana. So this is a this is something like a suggestion. This is a suggestion. What we find is First, you take Swadu Guru Snidha Dravya. So, there are lots of uh, differences in opinion regarding this. This is not a uh, taken for granted statement every time. Because the, this suggestion need not be acceptable to everyone. That is the problem. Because the we, we have learned <coughs> earlier that Vayoho Ratri Bhuktanam Tenda Madhya Adhigaha Kramadu. So Bhuktam, the first third of the Bhuktam is Kabha predominant. So when it is kabha predominant, what is the logic of explain of suggest of this suggestion to eat kabha vardhaga ahara first? That is the common, the most common uh, problem with the or uh, the dispute with the statement. <clears throat> There are multiple points to consider here. Apart from the logic of explanations, we should observe actually, we should observe what is happening actually, what is told, how it is to be interpreted, all these aspects are to be understood in a very keen sense. Generally, we think that the first third of the bhuktam is kabha predominant. So generally, we are supposed to or we are uh, uh, bound to take something which will reduce the kabha because there is a kabha utkada in the body. That is the simplest logic with which we approach this line. But uh, should that be right? That is another question or that is the important question. Because uh, that Kabha predominance, what we experience during the first third of the Bhuktam is essential. It is quite essential without which the first phase of Ahara Pajana cannot be uh, performed properly. 
So it is essential. So if you consider that aspect, if you take those foodstuffs, ahara dravya, which is against the kapha in the first, in the beginning, there is a possibility of uh, getting the, the first phase of the uh, ahara pachana getting disturbed, distorted. So th there need not be any conflict. Of course, there are issues. I'll come to that. But prima facie, you are not supposed to oppose the idea that this is a kapha vartana kala. So you are not supposed to take a kapha vartana ahara in the beginning. That is very important. And uh, if you look at these aspects that way, there may be again some conflicting ideas because uh, whether the Kabhavartha Ahara in the beginning will cause or induce Agrimandya or not. That is the next question or next problem. Then that also should be attended. That question also should be addressed. This suggestion is meant for somebody who is having good Agnidipi who can be considered as a swastha with the proper agni deepi. So if you are discussing a case of a person who is having agni mandya or a person who has got the potential to slip into agni mandya very easily, you need not follow this. This is not the rule for them. This is not the suggestion for them. This is the suggestion for a swastha with having a stable deeptati. That way, in the end, you should go to the other side. That means here it is kabhavarthaga. So at the end, it will be vadavarthaga. So that way, it should complement the third phase of pajana, which is vada predominant. Actually, it is not a... a uh, negative thing that in the third last third of the uh, pajana prakriya it is vada predominant is no, nothing a, a bad thing it is essential without which the dahana prakriya the pajana prakriya will go wrong and in the madhya which is pitta predominant you are supposed to give pitta predominant or pitta vartaga ahara, aharas that is madhye amla lavanokkadam you see kadu is very deliberately avoided in it because that is posted for the last so it is not just about the peripheral understanding that okay it is kabha vartaga kala so everything you should take should be kabha kshayagara it is not so. That is very important. But having said all these things, we should also uh, take the different opinions proposed by various Acharyas in this regard. They should not be thrown out without proper testing. Say, for example, Gharanada Samhita, the, the Gharanada school of thought. They are strong opponents of this line. They suggest Kadum Lavana Mamlamba Purva Mahara Mahare. That is what their suggestion is. Kadum Lavana Mamlamba. 
കടും ലവണം അമ്ലം ഓൾ ആർ പിത്ത വർധക രസാസ് സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗോ ഫോർ കടും ലവണം അമ്ലം വാ ദെൻ ദേ സജസ്റ്റ് പിത്ത വർധക ആഹാര ഇൻ ദ ബിഗിനിങ് ആൻഡ് ഒപ്പോസ് ദ ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് ഗിവിങ് ഓർ ടേക്കിംഗ് കഭവർധക ആഹാര ഇൻ ദ ബിഗിനിങ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ലൈൻ ഗോസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ആഹാരോ മധുരോഗ്രേഹി ഗുരുർവിഷ്ടഭ്യജീതി ഇഫ് യു ടേക്ക് ഇഫ് യു കൺസ്യൂം മധുര ആഹാര ഇൻ ദ ബിഗിനിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ പചനക്രിയ കോസിംഗ് വിഷ്ടംഭ so they are strong opponents of the very idea that madhura should be taken first but uh, another point is also important vagbhada proposed this and uh, i was trying to explain the logic behind it need not be uh, acceptable to everyone i do take it for granted every every idea can have its own space in the field in the in the in the uh, discussion table but at the same time we should look into the different possibilities in which are relevant in the context see whenever we discuss ahara food it is not just about nutrition that is one idea which we have to understand very seriously whenever you are discussing about annam aharam don't think about the nutrition alone it has got many other aspects to consider like the satmyam and that satmyam comes from different social influences economical influences cultural influences religious influences all these aspects are to be taken into consideration that should not be uh, forgot see here arunadatta himself makes a very important note about this idea what is that taveda duktam ubhayam api that means now we have two proposals number 1 take madhura first number 2 take madhura uh, kadu amla lavana first one is the conventional school the other one is the gharanada school tadeda duktam ubhayam api both these ideas desha satmyaadi vasad pramanaitavyam desha satmya aadi vasad pramanaitavyam all these things can be uh considered within the background of desha satmya etc that etc is the uh, stuffs which we were explaining the social the cultural the religious the economical so many aspects so only on that uh, backdrop we can try to understand this statement apart from the simple idea of nutrition if we look the same concept explained in ashtanga sangraha there we will find a, a better explanation for these all these ideas sangraha tells us it goes like this yadhagni satmyam tu prak 
द्रवम उपशुष्कम वाश्नियाद प्रागेवतु गुरु स्वादु स्निग्धम चा Two sentences. One, Prag Yadhagni Satmiyam Dravam Upashushkam Va Asniya. Two possibilities. To start with, Prag in the beginning, he is giving two options. Either you go for Drava predominant Ahara or you go for Upashushka, Adrava. Upashushka. Predominant ahara. Based on what? Yatha agni satmiyam. Agni balabekshaya. Satmiya balabekshaya cha. Agni balabekshaya. Satmiya balabekshaya. So, according to the agni balab. According to the satmiya. First, you may go for drava prathana ahara or ubashushka ahara. That is first sentence. Second statement, Prageva Tu, that Tu gives the statement some sort of an uncompromising trust. Prageva Tu, in any case, in the beginning, Guru Swadu Sniktham Cha. Guru Swadu Sniktham Cha. So you have two options. Number one, Guru Swadu Sniktham Dravam. Second, Guru Swadu Sniktham Upashushkam. Guru Swadu Sniktham Dravam. Guru Swadu Sniktham Upashushkam. And this is based on Yadha Agni Satmya. So, Yadha Agni Balam. According to your Agni Bala, you may go for Guru Swadu Sniktham Dravam or Guru Swadu Sniktham Upashushkam. Then again, we have got some, some uh, uh, confusion. Who should take what? Text continues like this. Madhye Amla Lavanam Ande Ruksham Drevam Ither Rasa Yuktanja Madhe Amla Lavanam Ande Ruksham Drevam Ither Rasa Yuktanja. So Madhe Amla Lavanam. That is what we saw in Ashtanga today as well. Ande Ruksham Drevam Ither Rasa Yuktanja. So at the end, it should be Drevam. It should be idhara rasa yuktam and it should be ruksha. So this corresponds to the same idea told in Ashtangtadayam, but that dravam upashushkam classification is new and important because in the next line we get a, a, a one step advanced explanation. What is that? Tatra Mandagnehe Dravoshnena Samutche Samutteji Doshmana Samutteji the Ushmanaha Samutteji the Ushmanaha Anya Dubayutam Samyag Pagam Ehi Tatra Mandagnehe Dravoshnena Samutteji Doshmanaha Anya Dubayuktam Samyad Pagam Edi. So, as far as a Mandagni is concerned, you see now we are shifting from the Swastha Deeptagni. So, as far as a Mandagni is concerned, first take Dravan, Dravan and Ushnam. Dravan and Ushnam. That will further promote the strength of Agni. Samuttejida Ushmanaha. If that advantage is provided, Anya Dubayuktam Samyak Pagamedi, whatever you take subsequently, 
that also getting that also gets processed fully and properly so here more stress is given to the idea that whether you should take dravam or upashishkam in the beginning and that is based on the agni shakti and the satmyam so satmyam is applicable for everything whereas this agni decides whether you should take dravam or uh, upashishkam in the beginning Ve meantime that uh, swadu guru snigdham should be taken in the beginning and the madhye amla lavanokkadam and in the end the remaining also in the form of ruksha that makes no compromise so practically this suggestion is based on the idea that the three stages of ahara pachana based on the dosha predominance are not supposed to be opposed with the vibhari the ahara but they are to be complemented with the samana ahara that is very very important so the stuff may change again according to the different variables which we were discussing there may be changes but ideally ideally this is the concept and an intelligent person is supposed to follow this for the sake of uh, proper maintenance of arugya but so uh, that uh, three lines visekshu moja choja amra moda vokari i am not going to explain those stuffs which are given as example because you will have your own stuff you will have your own practice the concept is more important the stuff may change according to desha and kal these days we may be going for uh, uh, say maybe uh, some new recipes sometimes we may be taking some um, roti sometimes we may be taking some kanji or gruel or porridge sometimes we may be our kids may be going with uh, some uh, breakfast cereals so that such stuff may change but adhyadravyam guru snigtham swadu mandam sthiram puraha vibhidam agaschande madhye amla lavanotkadam amla lavanotkadam means certain stuffs which are preserved like maybe some pickles or sometimes we may be making some chutney whatever it is they are supposed to be taken in the mid portion and that they are not supposed to be very kadu in the in its taste it is amla and lavana predominant fine then coming to the next part or next line uh, again i think the, the clarification which i have given they are all based on ashtanga sangraha that is very very interesting also uh, one day i mentioned that the, in the ashtanga sangraha there is a chapter called annabana vidhi just before the, the as the the 10th chapter in ashtanga sangraha sutra sthana that is to be understood for getting more details of whatever we are learning in the matras dm in ashtanga hridaya okay now coming to the next part we find annena kutsher dwavam so panena igam prabure eg ashrayam pavanadinam chadurtham avasheshaye again this is an idealistic statement annena kukshehe dwau amsau prapurey panena egam amsam prapurey pavanadinam ashrayam chadurtham avasheshaye this is the advice or proposal so we have uh two uh, that uh, half 
the the entire capacity of eating actually here the amsham amsham whatever is told here we can find it in the uh, that that is always a question how how are you how do you measure the the capacity now i have touched the half line mark now i am on the one first quarter is finished how do you understand all these things these are all anumanagrahyam who is going to judge the person himself is going to judge so from his experience his own observation on his capacity of eating he has to measure now i am half full now i have covered 75% like that and here all those ideas which we were discussing earlier that they are to be born in mind not only born in mind i think these are not to be understood by the vaidya because the vaidya may be exceptionally in the case of a raja king there may be a pranacharya near the dining table to see how much the king eats but that is not the case in in this present era i think all these ideas are to be disseminated as part of community health programs people do not know how to eat what to eat and when ayurvedic people are not speaking out they run after they go after whatever is proposed by the social media whatsapp or whatever it is so all these ideas are to be disseminated see uh, that kutshehe apradipidanam aharena hridayasya asamrothah parshvayoh avipadanam anadi gauravam udarasya prinanam indriyanam क्षण so this is the ideal matra so it is not based on just one meal but this measures this gives you some idea about a single meal as well as the nutritional status of the individual overall whether he is properly nourished person or undernourished or overnourished or whatever it is similarly we have already learned that uh, tribhaga sauhityam ardha sauhityam va guru nam when the dravya is guru you can go up to trubhaga sauhityam or ardha sauhityam so that idea if you can make it into a measurable format then it will have an objective perspective which will be very easy to understand for a layman but that idea is very important trubhaga sauhityam ardha sauhityam va guru nam upadishyate lekhu nam api na adi sauhityam so all these ideas are to be taken into consideration while we are discussing annena kutsher dwa vamshau panena igam prapureed aashrayam pavanadi nam chadurtham avasheshi leave behind one quarter one quarter goes for liquid items whatever you take maybe there may be a little bit of uh, say anubanam we are going to discuss anubanam there may be the gravy part of the the sabji or the curry whatever you are going to take there may be something else like rasam or butter milk whatever it is the drava portion and adravam that is what we call is the annam here so two quarters or the half that goes for this andrava annam and chaturthamsam one quarter for panam panam here means all the drava annam and one quarter is left empty for 
ashrayam pavanadinam chadurtham avasheshayed if this is not done just to go back for a few slokas and see whatever us whatever was explained there adimatram puna sarvana sudoshan prakobayed pidyamana hi vadadya we saw it in the beginning of this chapter when it is adimatram pidyamana hi vadadya yugavattena kopita amena nena dushtena while we explained vishujika alasagam etc so when there is no space left for this vadadi doshas ashrayam pavanadi nam chadurtham this adimatra annam that is adimatram because the space which are supposed to be left behind for the tridoshas are occupied by the anna that is why it is adimatram that adimatra annam is going to have a bad encounter with the doshas that is what we saw that pidyamana hi vadadya vadadya ha annena pidyamana so that should not happen that that possibility opens up the doors for conditions like vishujika and alasa so that is the importance of this annena kukshir dwavam so panena igam prapurayed ashrayam pavanadinam chadurtham avasheshayed but again there are very interesting uh, observations added on to this by uh, vakbhada in ashtanga sangraha but at, at the same time we should always keep it in our mind that atra tu amsha kalpana ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪನೆಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ these measures what i have given here are all inferential so the patient the sorry the person should be having some idea about his own capacity of course larger the capacity and larger the uh, capacity to digest also process also agni bala is very excellent that doesn't mean that it is atyagni within the framework itself it is the optimally best then okay that is supposed to be ideal no doubt that is why that uh, uh, capacity to eat more and digest everything well is supposed to be an arogya lakshana jarana shakti that is one measure of agni agnim jarana shakti ya all these things are important but it is not measurable it cannot be objectified it is all based on self assessment so that is where all the idea of pratna comes that is where we should have some sort of a ಶರೀರ ಚಿಂದ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ದ ಕಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಡ್ರೋ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಇನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಕಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಇಂಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರೂಷಿಯಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶರೀರ ಚಿಂದ in uh, ashtanga sangraham we find after explaining this annena kukshir dwavam saupane neigam prabhure ashrayam bhavanadinam chaturtham avasheshayed then we find very interesting note as an uh, addendum to the the whatever is told earlier 
മന്ദാനല ബലാരോഗ്യ നൃപേശ്വര സുഖാത്മ സുയോജ്യ ക്രമോയം സതതം നാവശ്യം ഇതരേഷു ച വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് അയം ക്രമഹ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് അന്നേന കുക്ഷർ ദ്വാവംശം പാനേനൈകം പ്രഭൂരേത് ആശ്രയം പവനാദീനാം ചതുർത്ഥം അവശേഷേത് അയം ക്രമഹ ദിസ് ക്രമ ദിസ് ഓർഡർ യോജ്യഹ ഈസ് ടു ബി അപ്ലൈഡ് ഈസ് അപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ഫോർ എ സർട്ടൻ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസ് നോട്ട് ഫോർ ഓൾ so he is giving the exclusion criteria as well or inclusion criteria as well what is that mandanala bala arogya nrubeshwara sukhatma su this rule is applicable for mandanala so it doesn't mean that it is not applicable to others but it is not practicable to others that is a problem so for mandanala this rule should be obeyed followed religiously mandanala then bala arogya those who are having bala and uh, arogya as manda balam and arogyam are low low uh, balam is uh, not good arogyam is not excellent nrupeshwara nrupeshwara king for kings this rule is very important then sukhatma as we see the sukumara those who are not engaging in physical activities for them this rule is applicable idareshu tu as far as others are concerned who are the others like having excellent agni vipti bala arogya are excellent not concerned with the positional uh, or the the, the, the uh, uh, positions like the king then uh, not coming under the category of sukhatma they are working hard very physical then some other of uh, when when you are going to the king the other end comes to something like uh, see daridra that is the word used by hindu daridra hindu comments it's like this daridra atyagni atura dukhatmanam daridra അത്യഗ്നി ആതുര ദുഃഖാത്മനാം ഫോർ ദം യു ഹാവ് ടു കസ്റ്റമൈസ് ഇൻ സർട്ടൻ കാറ്റഗറീസ് സി ആസ് ഫാർ ആസ് എ ദരിദ്ര ഈസ് കൺസേൺ ഹി മെ നോട്ട് ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് മേ ബി വൺ ഫുൾ മീൽ എ ഡേ ഈവൺ നൗ ഈവൺ നൗ യു യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് a big proportion of our population maybe in india those who are be below the poverty line they may not be getting two square meals a day and whenever they get they are not supposed to follow this rule it is impossible annena kutshir dwaam saupane nayam prabhureyam aashrayam pavanadinam chadurtham avasheshe that is not applicable to them similarly an adura you may require to propose a pattern which is further down you may be giving only one third of the total capacity sometimes see we know that uh, sarva karma swayam praya vyadhi kshineshu chakram or that samsarjana kriya that payam milevi magrudam krudam jayusham yusham rasam tri ubhayam tadhegam that's so all these things are based on the situation the status so uh, our uh, sangraha gives this sort of note on exceptions mandanala 
ಬಲ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ನೃಪೇಶ್ವರ ಸುಖಾತ್ಮಸು ಯೋಜ್ಯ ಕ್ರಮೋಯಂ ಸತತಂ ನ ಅವಶ್ಯ ವಿದರೇಶು ತೂ ವಿದರೇಶು ತೂ ನ ಅವಶ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ನ ಅವಶ್ಯ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಡ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಐಡಿಯಲಿ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶುಡ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ in in the commentary portion especially in uh, ashtanga sorry in arunadatta commentary you will find a interesting note by sushruta he is quoting sushruta what is that prakshaye radhirasyam gunjanascha muhurumuhu vishuddhe rasane hyasmin rojadenna mahurvavad that's an interesting note ಪ್ರಕ್ಷಾಳೇದಭಿರಾಸ್ಯಂ ಭುಂಜಾನಶ್ಚ ಮುಹು ಮುಹು ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೀಲ್ ವಾಶ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೌತ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ವಿಶುದ್ಧೆ ರಸನೆ ವೆನ್ ರಸನ ಇಸ್ ವಿಶುದ್ಧಂ ರಸನ ಜಿಹ್ವ ವೆನ್ ದ ಜಿಹ್ವ ಇಸ್ ವಿಶುದ್ಧಂ ರೋಜದೇನ್ನಮ ಪೂರ್ವವದ್ ದ ರುಚಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅನ್ನಂ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೈನ್ ಈಟ್ ಯು ಮೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ದ ರಸ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಹಾರ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮಧುರಂ ಪ್ರಧಾನಂ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧಂ ಗುರು ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ವಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಟು ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಅಮ್ಲ ಲವಣೋತ್ಕಡಂ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಸೇ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಕರ್ಡ್ ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಕರ್ಡ್ ರೈಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಿಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಮನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಿಲ್ ಫೈನ್ ದೆನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ವಾಶ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೌತ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಈಟ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ unique taste apurvavad then you switching over to the maybe the last vivaridam agaschande then again wash your mouth and eat again so you will feel that uh, the unique taste of that third part in a very special manner like that so such an advice we find in uh, sushruta they have tried to quote it that's all now next is how about the anubanam part anubanam i'll just read it out but i think as the time is already almost 9 we may not be able to uh, explain that anubanam portion today but we will read the shloka first anubanam himam vari yava godhumayo hitam dadhini madhye vishe chaudre vishe the word is vishe all all the textbooks all the editions has written it like visha will somebody eat visha and then taking anubana as some shita dravya that is a question always so why should eat why should one eat visham so some intelligent commentators or editions have put it as visham which makes more sense that anubanam hivam mari deva godhumayo hidam daddhini madde visse kshaudre and this visam we find very frequently even i think at least a couple of times we have met with this visam earlier in this chapter so i think maybe vakbhada uh, this uh, especially hrudaya vakbhada maybe hailing from a state, from a place where the use of visam was very common at that time so that may be even say while uh, don't use every day we find with some sometimes we find with some in some other context also misekshu moja choja amra moda gotkari gadigam you take it first like that isn't it so here also some intelligent authors smart authors have put the version as visam not vision fine then koshnam pishtamayeshu 
శాగముద్గాది వికృతౌ మస్తు తక్రాంల కాంచికం సురా కృషానాం పుష్ట్యర్థం స్థూలానాం తు మధూదకం శోషే మాంసరసో మద్యం మాంసే స్వల్పే చ పావగే వ్యాధి ఔషధాగ్భ భాష్య స్త్రీ లంఘనాదవ కర్మభి క్షీణే వృద్ధే చ బాలే చ పయ పథ్యం యథామృతం we will explain this uh, shloka in our next session so uh, i think again uh, vaidya nilesh is not there in the room so if we have something to share please come up with the points to discuss to share to express otherwise we will wind up please comment on some relevant portions which we would like to uh, sir ah yes ashwin sir uh, the logic of uh, taking guru snigdha swadu manda sthira ahara in the beginning mm. and the viparita guna ahara in the end can mm. it be just uh, uh, because guru snigdha swadu manda sthira ahara if it all it is taken in the later stages even uh, it, it it might be related to avastha paka but uh, the avastha paka begins maybe the food if the individual is consuming the food in 20 minutes of time the avastha paka in total might take an uh, maybe around 3 to 4 hours if we take to complete the total avastha paka of mm -hmm. the from madura amla and katu avastha paka mm -hmm. so but uh, whether it is just because of that or can it be because uh, uh, the guru snigdha swadu manda ahara anyway it sinks down uh, to the bottom even if it is taken later time so the ruksha lagu ahara would come up anyway otherwise Ashwin, hello. Uh, can I, am I audible, sir? Uh, sir, am I audible? Now you are. Now you are audible. Hello, I think the voice was cut in between. Yes, I will just try to explain, uh, sir. Is it just uh, related to uh, the consumption of the Guru Snigdha Swadu Ahara in the beginning? It, it, whether it is directly related to the Avastha Paka, because the Avastha Paka in total it might take around two, three to four hours to complete the total Avastha Paka, and the consumption of the food if the individual is in moderate uh, speed if he consumes, it might take around fifteen to twenty minutes. am i audible yeah. sir yes 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 sir. i got yes, you yes, 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 even uh, if at all if it all it might not be even just related to avastha paka directly uh, because this guru snigdha swadu ahara even if it is taken in the later stages it sinks down uh, to the bottom of the amashaya and the pachana uh, definitely uh because it becomes a uh, mithya yoga of the ahara consumption in terms of the guna not just because of the avastha paka because the we, with the uh, swabhavika guna of the guru snigdha swadu ahara which sinks down to the amashaya uh, bottom of the amashaya so that becomes very uh, is that uh, it, it can be like that no sir see uh i won't say yes i won't say no because these are all explanations but one interesting point is the way in which this entire process is taken as per yes. our uh, uh, this uh, aptas the acharyas is not based on the entire time span taken for the uh, paga to complete 
but they are very particular about it there is no doubt about because jirna ahara lakshanam is given how much time it takes for ahara to be jirnam aushadha to be jirnam all these things are explained it is true but meantime while you look into the the um, see the sneha maybe for example ಪ್ರಾಂಗ್ಮಧ್ಯುತ್ತರ ಭಕ್ತೋ ಸ ಅಧೋ ಮಧ್ಯೂರ್ಧ್ವ ಸಂಶ್ರಯನ್ ವ್ಯಾಧೀನ್ ಜೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನುಪಾನ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಅನುಪಾನ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಆಹಾರ in the beginning that is going to make you krsha in the madhya it is going to make you uh, as such the status is maintained madhya and in the end it is going to uh, make you spula like that so even that consumption pattern is going to influence the entire jarana prakriya that is how it is explained in the uh, that first sneha you take that is supposed to go down to the uh, sharira in the middle you take it is supposed to work in the center portion at the end you take it is going to be distributed to the uh, head end and uh, regarding anubana also you find the similar so in the same way the food which you take in the beginning is going to influence the first pajana third the one which you are going to take in the middle is going to influence the madhya mapaka and in the end it is going to affect the uh, last third that also sounds to be logical when we compare the other situations explained by the acharyas into consideration but at the same time i don't think or i should not say that they had a notion that okay soon after the food is consumed it is going to the avastha paga immediately by the time because once we go to the the ayushkaniya what we find is vayoho ratri bhuktanam so that bhuktam is annam so that is just based on the consumption during the consumption initially there is vada sorry kapha then the pitta and at the end there is vada but that doesn't mean that it is just about the time of consumption but it is about the completion of the jarana prakriya isn't it so what they have explained is little from that what we have to infer is too much this is what i feel of course this is my version of explaining it that need not be true that is why i i told at that point of uh, explanation that many things are to be observed just yes. not just based on the text but on the personal observations what is happening to the the uh, ahara or what is your personal experience if you take kattvamla lavana in the beginning itself what is happening if you take the madhura rasa predominant dravyas in the end there are certain many practices like that in this part of the country kerala we serve a very guru type of payasam in the end of all sadhya fortunately not every day otherwise it could have been easier if 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 somebody is attending some 20 sadhyas in a month with uh, one glass of payasam at the end i think he could have been a, a excellent model for explaining all these things realistically Yes. but generally it is a feeling that after a sadhya after a full blown sadhya nobody is going to <laughs> remain healthy or active for another 3 hours <laughs> yes. isn't it yes yes no, so yeah. what do you have like- and and what the texts are telling uh, when considering uh, because uh, uh, it is not just the stula uh, part of the total digestion it is in the sukshma and and also in the sukshma levels in every level it is been explained 
ಆದಿಮ ಆದಿಮಧ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಈವನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬೋನಸ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ thank you ashwin and anyway yeah. for raising that point because explaining this portion is always a, 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 an issue because we are we are seeing it in a very peripheral and the the worst part is yeah. the idea the notion that when there is kapha vritti in the dahana kala you should oppose it you should fight it out with the uh, some kapha kshayagara aahara it is not so as far as the pajna prakriya is concerned that doshol banada which is happening in separate separate stages they are essential yeah. essential for the dahana prakriya eager to digest the and the anna, if the food is taken in the anna anna kala and the body is also in the in the digestive system the agni and agnistana they are also waiting for the digestion and why we should be going for a uh, kapha hara type of food no sir yes 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 that is when important. the student is ready for learning and if we are suppressing his learning ability that makes that becomes the that is like that <laughs> okay then any other ideas to be shared please come up otherwise we will uh, stop today meet you again next thursday shall we stop yes uh i think yes sir okay okay then thank you very much sir welcome thank you very much thank you all and shubharatri